Hello once again. Yep. This is my floor, my class, okay? A lot of people have their own classes. And nobody again is going to be stopping me from talking, okay? See, the only reason why you stop it is because you don't want to hear what I have to say, okay? And once you start benching me, it's kind of like bullying. So you have some bullies in class, and just like you have bullies in, in uh, the regular physical schools, and bullies every place. So now, now that I can't be bullied, okay, I'm going to start preaching. I'm going to start preaching hard on different topics, okay? Now, a mystery, a mystery that's something hidden, okay? That's what a mystery is, is something hidden, okay? Yahweh Elohim hid the mysteries for ages, okay? More than one age. And that's reflecting the, uh, the Godhead, Yahweh Elohim and Yahshua, more than one age, okay? You can put... Um, the tabernacle and lay that tabernacle right down on the ages and it'll, it'll fit perfect okay so it's that ages are even um, and threefold now see the eight the mysteries are for until the ages okay now until the end what happens at the end it's going to be revealed and it's being revealed now to his sons Okay, just like a mystery book. At the very end, guess what? You'll find out who did it. Okay, who's responsible? Then it's no longer a mystery. Okay? Now watch. Revealed means it's no longer a mystery. So those who insist on calling them mysteries, in other words, mystery of iniquity, mystery of, of righteousness, Okay, hasn't had it revealed to them yet. It's really that simple. It's common sense, really. So, see, you, you say that there are two mysteries, okay? But yet, what you say is they received the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Why don't you just say, they received the holy mystery. Since it's a mystery to you. Okay. See the double standard there? If you still think it's a mystery. Okay. To say. Then it's just not revealed to you. If you still call it a mystery. No matter what. It still hasn't been revealed then. And you should be saying mystery all the time then. Oh, you got two great mysteries. Okay, then call it a mystery all the way through. Don't keep on hopping from spirit to mystery, from spirit to mystery. It's revealed, but yet it's a mystery. It's all babble. And a lot of what a lot of people have done is that they've went up there and just babbled. Wasted time. Okay, that's, that's mystery Babylon. Okay, to, to go up there and just waste time. And then some people actually admit that they waste time on the floor just so that you can't get up. That's bullying. All right. You might as well call it what it is. Okay, it's just not revealed. It's still called a mystery. So, if you still say it's a mystery, it's telling me personally it hasn't been revealed to you yet. Okay? These errors, okay, saying that, you know, it's a mystery to you. So, if it's a mystery, therefore you're going to have make errors, you're going to have assumptions that are, are going to pass, and you pass it for truth until, um, oh, sorry about that, are passed off. For truth will occur. So, 
when you when you're saying, well, oh, it's a mystery, but yet they receive the Holy Spirit. Now, which is it? Is it a spirit, or is it a mystery? Come on, folks, let's start opening this thing up now, and uh, and actually taking a look at what we actually say on the floor. And sometimes it just don't make any sense. You don't say, well, there's only two mysteries, and then you say, well, it's the Holy Spirit, and, and, and Satan's the spirit. So which one is it? See, in reality, the spirit is a mystery until the spirit is revealed. Once the spirit is revealed, it's no longer a mystery. Kids in grammar school can understand that. Okay? Alrighty. If you didn't understand something I said, well, you know what to do. I got a page there. Start writing. <laughs>